Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum. Salar Khan here, and today we see the BCD counter. All right, this is also called a decade counter. All right, so we see the decade. Also the BCD. You know what the BCD is, all right? BCD is the binary coded decimal. Binary coded decimal. And you also know what the binary coded decimal is. In this we represent the number from 0 to 9. Numbers are represented, uh, that is 0 to 9. Is that fine? Now 0 to 9, which means the maximum count in this case is a 9. And we also know that the maximum count is 1 less than the number of states of the counter, which means that the number of states of this counter would be 10. Isn't it so? Yes. So let me uh, draw this uh, diagram. So now for the BCD, we will need a 4 bits, alright, because a 3 bit uh, can count till a maximum of 7, alright. So we will need a 4 bit counter. Alright, so let me uh, write over here, we have the clock pulse, QD, QC, QB and QA, let's say be the 4 bits. Is it fine? What was its value initially? Then when the first falling edge arrived, when the second falling edge arrived, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and so on. So the values I had were initially all zero, zero, one, and you fill it in your way. So, I believe I make it till here, right? Well, let's say I have space so I can say about the 12th pulse and the 13th pulse as well. Alright, so what would it be? Is that fine? Alright, now we need the 4-bit counter. So, the 4-bit counter has what? Has the maximum number of states uh, is 2 to the power 4 is 16 states it has. And the maximum count is 15 is the maximum count. But what do we need? We need a maximum count till 9 and the number of states till 10. So here again the modulus comes into play. The 10th state comes over here which means the maximum count of 9 arrives over here. 1, 0, 0, 1. Which means after this, after this, as soon as 10 arrives you have to reset your flip-flop and we've seen the resetting of the flip-flop we do what we provide a clear signal and the clear signal is a low signal is an active low signal which means you provide a zero at the clear terminals all right you can also draw the state diagram of this counter which i believe i do not need to draw zero 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 one all these you draw in a circle you, 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 you indicate arrows to say whether you're counting up or counting down. In this particular case, I'm considering the up counting, all right? So you can have those arrows. You can draw the state diagram yourself, all right? Draw the state diagram yourself for this counter. Is that fine? All right, so I will do the, the remaining part of it. Now, uh, what do we have? 4-bit counter, so we require 4 flip-flops, alright, so, mm, here we are, this is the first flip-flop, let's say, this is the second, the third, finally the fourth, is it fine? Alright, so, let's say this is a T flip-flop, TA, QA, QA complement, TB, QB and QB's complement. 
then you have TC, you have a QC and you have a QC's complement, then you have a TD, QD and you have QD's complement. Alright, now a logic 1 is provided to all the inputs. Fine, and that is you know why. Give me this answer of why in the comment section, alright. Why am I providing a logic 1 at the inputs? This is an external clock pulse provided over here. Let's see, we're talking about the asynchronous counter. So this clock pulse comes here. Sorry. This QB is provided over here. And this QC is provided over here. And finally, this is the output again. Mm -hmm. Now what do you have? 1011. One, one. So Q, Q, QD is the most significant bit that we know. And QC, Q, uh, QA is the least significant bit. So 10, we need 10. 1010. 1010. One, one, as soon as this thing arrives, we have to reset our flip flop. So how do we do that? We do that with the help of a NAND gate again. So this is, let's say, the NAND gate. Fine. All right. Now, what do you have to the inputs? This one represents your QD, all right? QD. So, QD is already in the high state. So, you provide the QD as it is. This is your QD. Fine. Then, QC is in the low state. QB is again high and QA is again low. So, QC is in the low state. So, you provide an inverted form of the QC. This is inverted QC. QB is high, so you provide QB directly. And QA is low, so you provide an inverted QA. All right. So this is what? This now comes in to be the inputs to the NAND gate comes out to be all of them as one, which means the output of this NAND gate is zero. And this zero we provide to all the flip-flops. The clear signal of all the flip-flops is provided from here, this zero signal. Now when you provide the zero signal, which means what? If you imply the clear signal, clear is provided zero, this would imply the output to be zero. And this means that the counter or the flip-flops have been reset, which means that they have all gone back to the zero, zero state. Is that fine? Now, I also told you in the previous video, instead of providing these low inputs as a complemented input, you can also provide only the high inputs to the R gate, to the NAND gate, sorry. So, this is the NAND gate. You need to get a zero over here. So, what do you do? You only provide QD and QB. Those are in the high state. So, you provide a 1-1. One, one. They will NAND it to get a zero. And you can provide this NAND signal to the clear signal as well. The zero signal to the clear signal. All right, so that's all. Is that fine? Yes, it is. So that's all about today. That's all about the BCD counter. We ignore these states because the BCD is only from 0 to 9. It's a 4-bit representation. We used 4 counters. As soon as 10 arrives, reset the flip-flop. This is the resetting. And that's all. So thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe. And... Keep on watching the videos as well. See you in the next lecture very soon. Till then, take care. Goodbye.